going to use the term Eskimo as a language. The people who spoke an Eskimo language were those that lived along the coast, so that their, like, their uh, culture was on land and either on ice or on water. And that coastline is several thousand miles long. Consequently, the people who lived there had variety. There was differences. The ones who lived way up north on the Arctic were the Inupiaq, and they're like the Canada Inuit. We also had the Aleutics that lived down here in the Gulf of Alaska. And over there on the far west were the Yupiks, and we've got several different Yupik groups. So these folks all have the same basic <coughs> language, or the same root to their language, just like, you know, you know Romance languages, Spanish, French, Italian, whatever. The, uh, they had the same root, and so that's how I'm going to use the word Eskimo. It seems to right now be a word that's in transition, and every so often people on my tour, especially from New York or Canada, will say, don't say that word. That's why I'm using it as a language. And right now, younger people are more likely to say, don't call me Eskimo, I'm Yupik, I'm a Nupiak, or whatever. And the older folks will say, you know, I've been Eskimo all my life. It's, I'm an Eskimo. So it's a word that's in transition. We try to be respectful. But the individuals have their own choices. And frankly, folks, if you were on this tour five years from now, I don't know what you'll be hearing. <laughs> but right now, that's the way it's going to be. Now, because that coastline is so long, there are varieties. And the Inupiaqs, who live way up on the coast, are the ones that we always think of as living in igloos. Now, igloo is a word that gets very confusing because it actually is the Eskimo speak for house or home. The only trouble is, when I say the word igloo, let me guess, and mentally you're all picturing that dome thing with a dome, right? Forget it. That is not where the Alaska Eskimo-speaking peoples lived. Instead, they lived on land in half underground houses, and I will be going into the housing later in the tour. For right now, please think in terms of men that go hunting out on the ice for the animals, the whales and whatnot. They don't have to carry tents. Instead, they can get out there, they can cut blocks of the pressed snow and put it into either a partial halfway wind protector or dome it over like an quote unquote igloo. But igloo, meaning house or home, is really not where the families lived if you're thinking of the domed thing with the tunnel. So mm -hmm. I hope I haven't totally confused you, but that I have kind of clarified the kind of housing and how what works up here in Alaska. And I can't really speak about the people as far as their uh, weather goes because it's such a long coastline, except to say it's lousy. The storms are made in the North Pacific out there in the Bering Sea. There's a lot of wind and wind chill. There's also a lot of snow that comes down. Spring in the, in the summertime, actually, you will see bare ground and there will be a little bit of rain maybe, but it's just not very pleasant weather. Now, I can talk about the weather of the last group, which are the Aleuts. 